You know, I've always said that I believe a part of the Microsoft Windows 10 spying debacle probably comes from just bad decisions and sheer mistakes or unintentional spying, not necessarily just pure raw ma malicious intent. And this seems to be an example that goes along with that. An article has just come out with a digital forensics guy who was messing around and found that Windows 10's handwriting recognition program actually functions very much like a keylogger. As soon as you have enabled the handwriting recognition program, the first time you've ever tested writing on your name, which I apparently have never done in Windows 10, but if you have, it has saved every bit of text file, email, any sort of text-based document, not even just TXC files, like PDFs, emails, Word documents, and everything, all into one massive file. It's just logged all of that data and kept it in one file that's fairly easily accessible. It's not one giant text file itself, but it is a basically a JavaScript file that someone has already made a free program to help you to decipher sitting in your app data folder completely unprotected. If When you dig yours up, it could have anything from random text files to stuff you've typed theoretically, emails you've received, documents, spreadsheets, anything with text. And the whole point of the program is to analyze things that you write to further compare and improve the handwriting recognition software but for whatever reason, it's grabbing typed documents as well, and it's keeping it all there unsecure. Now, according to the Post, as far as they've been able to check out, they have not found any evidence that Microsoft is actually receiving this data or that Windows is otherwise transmitting this file off to any other platform. Just, you know, not over the internet, not, not even to Microsoft itself. It's just sitting on your file. But they should, at bare minimum, release an update that actually secures this file a little bit better because just a tad bit ridiculous. And this is what I have always seen when it comes to the claims of Windows 10's telemetry and uh, other evidence of spying or logging what you're doing is a lot of it just seems to be a purpose-built program that is interpreting what you're using on the computer for a specific purpose, which for some people is still fairly uncomfortable. It's still spying to them and that's, that's fine. But kind of run, running away and doing something it's not supposed to and running a little haywire and grabbing all this extra stuff and just sitting on it. It's not, again, no one's reading this as far as anyone can tell. No one's receiving that at home. No one's taking advantage of you with it, but the possibility is there. It's another potential attack vector. It's another potential vulnerability. It's another potential source of spying. It's not... Microsoft being like, we want all your data, so now we're collecting all of your text files and documents and emails, which some would argue they are already doing, but the fact that it's still there is very uncomfortable. Now, as I was getting at, I'm always in two minds about this with regards to the ecosystem of Windows 10 on the whole. And keep in mind, I always found this weird that Windows 10 was specifically like targeted with this just because they were transparent about it, when a lot of this telemetry stuff has gone on since Windows 7. It really has. We just didn't know about it as much back then. But I, it's one of those things where something like the handwriting, applica handwriting recognition application does need to interpret your handwriting more and more and compare it to properly written words in order to get more accurate. Your voice assistant needs to record and send your voice of what you're telling it in order to analyze that and improve it and so on. It shouldn't just be recording everything, but it does have to listen a little bit in order to wait for the A word, the B word, the Google word, Google word, <laughs> etc. It's the act of storing that data that is the problem. And that came up a while back with some smartphones is you could actually access in your Google Cloud a bunch of random recordings that it recorded thinking that it might be a pref preface to an oh hey Google command or an A word or B word command, and it wasn't. And I guess with this is it was interpreting text, waiting to see if you would handwrite and didn't, and instead just kept it all in one big file. It's just a little weird. I think the most damning part of all of this involves the fact that it includes deleted files as well, but a little note I was waiting to save till this point in the video. This has been a thing. I keep talking about Windows 10 spying, and I mentioned that it goes back to Windows 7. This is a feature that's been in place since Windows 7. It's a feature that was in place in Windows 8. 
There was there's even Microsoft support answers threads where someone is asking, what the hell is textharvester.dat? It's the same file. Now, again, the feature that it's supposed to do is use analyze the words you're using to predict what you're going to write to make it easier. But it shouldn't be storing it. It shouldn't be storing stuff you've deleted. It shouldn't be storing these files at all. It should be analyzing it, contributing that to whatever pool of data. I mean, if you're going to sign up for a writing recognition tool in the first place, you're subjecting yourself to a little bit of key logging because it's going to analyze the words in order to do its job. But it shouldn't be keeping the files, it shouldn't be archiving them in that sort of way, it shouldn't be making them so easily accessible in a non-secure way, and not having been doing it for the past, what, 20 years? 10 years? 10 years? When was Windows 7? At least 2017, or 2007, it's now 2018, so yeah, at least 10 years of this going on. That's insane. That is absolutely unacceptable, period.